Hey, hi everyone. Hello and welcome to a new video on, on my channel. Andy from Collect and Trade here and today we have something special. The Kickstarter campaign was, or actually was, it's already ended by now. And I have get these uh, pre debut packs from Oshi Plush. Yeah, those are, it is a trading card game that will be released soon. Sometime this year, I believe. We can take a quick look into the Kickstarter campaign. I can tell you a few things about it. And we have a video here, VTuber trading card game. VTubers, in case you don't know, are YouTubers who basically that are virtual. Just virtual characters that, yeah, sometimes there are people behind their devices. They just have an avatar that moves like to them. Um, or uh, there is also a completely virtual option. Yes, even the voice, everything, simply everything is scripted. And yes. Uh, then just played it. Uh, so let's quickly check Kickstarter. Uh, Oshi Plush, yes, has been funded. 468,348 euros collected from about 46,400 something that were used and indeed from 2101. Uh, supporters. Uh, if you want to know more about it, feel free to check it out. That's the whole thing. You can check it out. Did Pro uh, Packs, those are the ones we have here now. Yes, let's take a look and I'm excited to see how this whole thing will develop. But we will definitely take a look at the cards today. Uh, I think it's a bit dark. Uh, I might have to position the light a bit differently here so that that it's a bit more lit in front of my hand too. So, uh, is this better? I'm not a big fan of this shadow effect. Yes, maybe like that. Well, it is what it is. Anyway, we have the packs here. I think it should be eight if I'm not mistaken, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces that we are opening here today uh, contains one of 14 types plus 28 types parallel. Yes, 20, 24. So there is one card, as far as I know, in it. Uh, random pre debut card, exactly. Okay, booster packs vary by product. Each player must have 40 card stacks, blah, blah, blah. All right, you can, you can, you can check out the uh, Oshi Plush if you want. So let's take a look at how the cards look. A special structure inside or are they just uh, normal flat cards that simply have VTuber designs? So there are a few selected VTubers. This is the first time they are trying something like this. Here we still have, once again, get your DB packs on Kickstarter. So uh, these are the things that were already finished before the Kickstarter campaign ended here. Yeah? If you are interested in this, check it out. Here we have Akiko again, uh, Japan, Japan. Uh, Japan Army Games has VTuber mascot. All right. So our first card, uh, the upgrade has uh, uh, to all the letter. 1030 mastery points, clash reward, draw two cards. While you have five or more cards in your hand, 10 magic points plus four blue stars. Discard one again from the six up here. So uh, I don't exactly know how the cards are structured. Also the plushies, they seem very flat relatively. Thin, at least the pre-debut card, you can anyway. Relatively easy bend. It's an interesting thing. Um, fact, some, I wonder if there are also holographic cards. Do we have a holographic card? The chance of a holographic card in here. What are these parallel cards? Let's just keep looking deeper into what we have here. That's why I got it, to look into it with you guys. So next card looks like a bit of a more for full art house. Should we say it like that? Pre-debut. Hakushika, no, Hakushika, Lori, uh, a persona card. Okay. Looks cool. So for anime fans, I could imagine this is something, right? I also like anime, no question, but I'm not the biggest advocate for anime, though I do enjoy watching them from time to time. Certain selected things, but it's not like every week, every day. So what, what is he looking for? I haven't really had much to do with VTuber myself, so it hasn't really grabbed me yet. And, uh, and the next card we have in here, uh, an upgrade number six. Hakushika Lori, ah, that's the one here. Uh, the upgrade card includes this card right from the start. Interesting. We will find the artworks for you. Is that or really drawn or is it generated by AI? What do you think? Also in the pre-debut cards, all pre-debut cards here, 
quite good. Uh, clear thing, so uh, we have two upgrade cards and a personal card. Uh, that's what it's called here. Uh, that's unlucky and I think it doesn't make sense to raffle them off. Hi Erinko Achelia, hello. Um, next persona card. Uh, uh, okay, so she gets these blue stars whenever you play a content card. Uh, interesting. Um, we've already pulled two personas here. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Flop. Next. I think it might even make sense to do this one here, which is another upgrade card for itself. Uh, uh, again fitting. Drawn one after the other. Were they packed like that? Printed like that? I don't know. Uh, definitely seems that way. Uh, in this video, I will probably release in multiple languages, so if you don't understand German, feel free to watch. In the other videos too, I don't know if you can do anything with these QR cards or something like that. Upgrade card, Pipkin, Pepa. I suspect that we have to pull those out now as well. By the way, I wonder why the... More like full art. Although it's a it's an upgrade card. Um, you, the others all have a border around the top. Was this forgotten on this card? Uh, or is it just special? So, Shizui Mishiru. Feel free to write in the comments uh, what you think of these cards. I don't think I would personally collect them. At least not these pre-debut cards. Um, and we have a shiny card in here. Look, a holographic one. A cooler Tenma Miami. Tenma Miami. Did we pull it? No. We didn't get an upgrade for that. Uh, uh, the first time we draw a person card here that also shines. Look, it's like a real mirror, this card. Hi. So... Yeah, I don't know. Do you guys like the hollow effect? I think it's pretty prone to fingerprints. Uh, I hope this is a test and that the actual holographic effects become a bit cooler. These are just shiny foils, a pure mirror, so to speak, which makes everything very dark, I think. Uh, of course, it helps to bring out the character a bit, but I don't know if it's for me. I think the artworks themselves are well done. I don't want to question that. It's definitely something for many people. Look at this. But the hollow effect can definitely still improve, and yeah. I'm curious to see what the actual cards will look like in the end. Um, that was a look at the pre-debut cards uh, that I received here. Look at it. How do you like the artworks? Uh, did you maybe even support it? Feel free to write it in the comments and then I would say, until the next video, you're Andy from Collect and Trade. Ciao. <laughs>